Hi, everybody. So let's talk about mock exam practice. So being a member of Dental L, you have lots of different mock exam practice tests, quizzes. You have everything in our previously recorded sessions, different mock exam topics, where I actually go through multiple choice questions and answers with you over about 45 minutes to one hour, depending on the topic. But you also have interactive quizzes. So I like to let you guys mix it up with your studying because everybody learns a different way. But mock exam practices are always the best thing to do because that's how you truly know if you know the material is when we ask it to you in a different way that isn't just memorizing a textbook, memorizing notes, or even just memorizing my mock exam practice tests that I gave you guys in a session recording. So you do have access to mock exam interactive quizzes. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. So if you're a Board Exam Prep Academy member, you have full access to these mock exam quizzes. If you are a different type of member, let's say you signed up for the Express course, you can still purchase this at a, at a discount. So I will give you the link for that as well. So let me just share my screen here. So this is what it's called. So it's the, uh, the mock exam practice tests year 2021 to 2022. Depending on when you're watching this video, the year might change to 2022, 2023. New mock exams are always being added. And I like these because as I said before, they are interactive quizzes, meaning you get to go over the questions, you get to go over the answers, and it tells you right away if you have the wrong one. So I'm just gonna go over some of them that I had uploaded today. So let's go under the clinical section under dental office. So you just click on the quiz you want to take, and then this is how you get started. It will pop up like this and then start quiz down here. So click on start quiz, and then it takes a second. So let's just go over one of the questions. So what would a consultation room be used for? Would it be A, a specific area where patients wait before their appointment? Is it a specific area where patients wait after their appointment? A specific area where diagnostic and treatments are discussed with the patient? Or a specific area and recovery room? So I know the answer, but I'm going to pick the wrong answer just so you can see what that looks like. So let's say you thought it was A, a specific area where patients wait before their appointment. Click on that and then submit the answer. And what I love about it is it tells you guys right away what the wrong answer is. So you don't have to hum and haw, go through all the questions and then decide, well, which ones did I get right? Which ones did I get wrong? And then, okay, fine. It might show you at the end. But I like this because it shows you right away. But let's say you want to keep going. So let's say you look at the questions. You go, actually, I meant to pick this one. Um, oh, doesn't let you. You know what? I kind of like that. Okay. So how the quizzes used to work is it would let you just keep guessing for the right answer. But to be honest, I kind of like this way better. So you can't just automatically pick the next one. Kind of simulating the board exam, right? But of course, some of you guys are going to probably think, well, I just want to pick another answer. But then guess what? You can do the quiz again. I wonder if you can just kind of go on to another quiz and then start this one again. Let's see. Okay, so you can, but it's gonna start with question two. Can I go back? No, I can't. But these questions are 10 questions. So it's not like there's a hundred questions. You have to wait till the very end. So you know what, you guys, I kind of like this because this helps you guys to really study and focus. And if you got the question wrong, I suggest taking it a step further and thinking, okay, I clearly don't know what a consultation room is used for. Maybe I should go back to that module of the dental office and learn the different rooms of the dental office so then I can answer that correctly next time. But let's just go to question number two. So what is the supine position? Okay, again, let's just pick one. Let's say we thought it was A, the patient's head is higher than the feet. Or do you think it's B, the patient's head is lower than the feet? Submit answer, okay? So I wanted to show you guys what the right answer looks like. Clearly there's a check mark and you can move on. And it keeps track of what you get wrong and what you get right. So I'm just gonna pick a bunch of things um, for the, you know, since I'm just kind of doing this with you guys, you guys don't wanna have to wait forever. I'm kind of going over the, the questions with you. Okay, I guess I should pick some of the right answers, huh? So now I just did this. So I know which answers are right. I know which answers are wrong. 
I'm going to pick some right. I'm going to pick some wrong. So you guys can see what it looks like at the end. Let's see here. I'm, I'm going to pick some right. I'm going to pick some wrong. Okay, let's pick a wrong one now. Okay, so as you go further, the questions get harder and harder and they're more um, case study types of questions. I do that on purpose. I don't start with the super hard questions because I don't want you guys to get discouraged, right? So notice how at the end, it says view your results. So clearly I was just going quickly. It says four out of 10 correct, not a very good score, right? But it lets you know which ones you got wrong. So now you can retake the quiz but I suggest though, you guys don't start retaking it right away. Learn that topic that you had trouble with and then take it again. It's not about, oh, we're having trouble loading the page. I was just probably being too fast. But um, you know, the point isn't to be like, okay, I memorized which questions are wrong. Now I know which ones could be right. I'm gonna go back and take the quiz. The point is to study what you did wrong. So when you come back to that quiz, you can get a better mark. The point of multiple choice quizzes, practice tests, is not to memorize. It's to see what you truly know and what you don't know. So let's say you took an anatomy quiz and you got everything right. I would not waste your time studying anatomy um, again, because clearly you know anatomy. I'm not saying don't study it at all, but maybe wait to study anatomy again the last week before your exam. But let's say you took that anatomy quiz and you got every question wrong. Well, that tells you you need to go back and study it again because you're having a hard time. Maybe it means you need to reach out to me because you're not getting something with anatomy and you need me to explain it to you in a different way. That's what I'm here for. That is what a tutor is here for you. And you have full access to me. So what I tell students is study everything first. The mock exam practice test should be the last thing you do for that topic. So study anatomy, no anatomy, think to yourself, okay, I'm going to get perfect on that anatomy exam or that anatomy part of it. Then if you're that confident, that's perfect. Take the mock exam practice test and then see how you truly do. Because just because you think you know anatomy, it could just be you're able to memorize. But once you see questions laid out in a different way, which is what the board exam is all about, then you know, do you truly know the material or not? So let me know, you guys, if you need any help, practice makes perfect. There will be more mock exam um, practice quizzes uploaded every single month, sometimes even more. I do a little bit at a time because believe it or not, 10 questions takes about an hour. So imagine all of these quizzes took a while, okay? because you have to formulate them in a certain way that are so similar to the exam. So it's proper practice, but you can't just make them too hard. You can't make them too easy. There has to be a good mix. So there will be more coming. So good luck, you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. If you're not a board exam prep academy member with the VIP membership, you can still purchase these quizzes. If you want, I will leave the link for you guys down below. So have a look and let me know if you need anything and good luck.